good today you're looking sharp did you just get a Thanks. workout in or something i just got a shower and workout shower yeah. boom yeah Rolling. you look crisp you look crisp and clean man. <laughs> i look fresh don't i look fresh I look you fresh. do look fresh dude it's such a weird time in sports right now because football just ends it just ends so abruptly it's like the day yeah. after christmas day and you're like what am i doing now but luckily for me here on yeah. in new york nueva york dude the knicks are legit so I've actually been watching basketball <laughs> for the first time in a while. Yeah, exactly. In a while, really? Yeah. In New York. I, and I'm not like a front runner guy, but like the Knicks have been so horrible for years and now they're great. And they have the, maybe the best point guard from basketball. It's so cool to, to watch. Yeah. Who, who's their, who's their point guard? Brunson, man. Jalen Brunson. Brunson. Yeah. That's the, the, the one, the one video with his dad. He's like, go get the ball. It's such good video, that video. But but the other cool, the, dude, I, I contend this too. 1994, right? The Knicks were going to the uh, the championships, and the Rangers were in the same month. And I'm not a huge hockey fan. But you know, you're in New York, you're yeah. Rangers, Islanders, whatever. Dude, that, when the Knicks and or the Rangers are good, they're the only team that's actually in New York City, in Manhattan, they're the only right. two teams there. So when they're good, it's like different in New York. It's almost different than when the Yankees are great or when the Mets are great. It's it's a strange right. thing. And you know, right. the, the Giants and the Jets are in New Jersey. So yeah, right. It's it's a weird thing. But but when the garden's going, man, it's going. Billy Joel, you still gotta see Billy Joel, man, before it's over. I know. That's, that's on, it's on my bucket list, bro. Have it's you heard the new bucket. song? Have you heard the new song? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. Good. It's really yeah. good. It's anyway, all right. Uh, hey, we do have some baseball news today. Soler gets a deal, and you like finally, it. finally, and finally, the team he signed with signed somebody. Finally, yeah, right, right, right. Well, the Giants, dude, the right. San Francisco Giants finally got a guy. I mean, I mean, you, you, the two big guys that are still out there are Soler and JD Martinez. Uh, and Soler's a dude who hit 36 home runs last year, had a 128 OPS plus. This guy can hit, man, 250. Um, you know, this is a nice time for the Giants. They need a power bat in that lineup, man. I just feel like yeah. top to bottom, there's not a lot of thump. You know, it's been that way for the last couple of years. And, you know, you get a guy like Solaire who's a legit power threat in the middle of that lineup. That's a really nice sign. And also, too, Matt Chapman's still sitting out there. And you're hearing, you know, he has a shot to be back with, with Bob Melvin there in uh, San Fran, too. So, for uh, if, if they end up landing Solaire and Chapman here in in February, right before spring training, that changes that team, man. That, that changes that lineup, changes the team, you know, changes the landscape of the of the San Francisco Giants. Yeah, Solaire led led the league in homers with forty eight one year. When he's healthy, look his hundred sixty two yeah. game average. Remember Tony Petiti used to hate that. He goes, nobody plays one hundred sixty two games, but whatever. His hundred sixty two game. That's not true. Yeah, <laughs> hundred sixty two game average. He averages 32 homers a year in a full season. 32. Yeah, exactly. You don't get rid of it, you know? No, now, I agree. I was, I, was just, I was talking to Cameron Maven about this the other day, um, that you, we were talking about Marcus Simeon, you know, talking about valuing guys that play 162, 155 plus. I mean, Goldschmidt, you know, Simeon, some of these guys, Bregman, you know what I mean? Like playing every day change, as you know, too, it's a skill. You think guys really want to play 162 games? It's a mentality to say, I don't, I'm, you know, maybe I'm not 100% today, but I'm playing. Maybe my, my hamstring's a little tweaked, but I'm playing. Uh, maybe I'm, uh, maybe I, I have a little bit of a cold or the flu. I'm playing. I'm showing up. I'm 162 is the number. And if, if, if you know what they say, shoot for the, shoot for the, um, for the moon. And, it, and if you, if you just miss, you'll be amongst the stars, <laughs> right? You don't shoot for the stars and you miss, you're back on earth. Shoot for 162. Mm -hmm. If you hit a DL stint, you know, there's 10 to 15 days. Okay. One DL stint brings you down to, one, you know, 147. Yeah. yeah. Right. And if you play every day, then you're going to have a couple of days. It's easy to be in the 130s, bro. To mm -hmm. be in the 150 plus is so freaking hard. Shoot for 162. That should be the mentality. I just, 
feel like nowadays that that's not the mentality. You know what I mean? It's like, let me get my numbers. Let me just get enough. Let me let me get, you know, so many numbers I can get, you know, uh, so many games I can get decent numbers. I, I love the thought process of the Marcus Simeons and the Paul Goldschmidt's and the Matt Olsen and the Freddie Freemans. And how do you put up, put up huge numbers? You actually have to play yeah. 150 plus games. That's how you put up numbers. You put up numbers by playing. Yeah, that's a great point, dude. By the way, I have a MLB Network trivia. Uh, Cameron Maben is the answer to one of the MLB Network trivia questions. Do you know what it is? No, what is it? Who was, I did this Jeopardy style, who was the first demo in MLB Network history? It was Cameron Maben. What? Yes, me and Harold, I believe. On TV? On TV. I think Cameron was, uh, his agent was Harold's brother. So we were going to start doing demo stuff. And Cameron was just a baby at the time. I think he came up really early, right? Like he did. He came up with me. He came up with me in 2007 with the with the Tigers in 19. Oh, right. 19. You were on that team. Oh, he, my had home, he had a home run off Roger Clemens in Yankee Stadium. Dude, dude, he, he was, built was one baseball. of the best guys out there, too, man. And built for baseball. Like, he had a built, like, a Norse god baseball player. But we did a demo. So he came in. We did a demo on uh, picking a ball off the wall. You know, like, the ball lands, and you got to pick it up with one hand and throw it. And get yeah, it. yeah. So yeah. That was the first demo in MLB Network history. Cameron Maven. He doesn't even know that, probably. Tell him when you see him this week. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's awesome. I'll tell him. That's incredible. Yeah. Anyway, what else you got going on today? Are you on one of the shows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a little MLB. MLB uh, no, I got 100, the top 100 players. Oh, nice. And hey, you, you got to cut two breakdowns. Can you sneak peek us who, who the breakdowns are? That you're cutting breakdowns? Uh, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing Kyle Tucker today. Kyle Tucker and uh, uh, Yandy Diaz. Nice. We had an incredible year. 3.30, finally got some juice, got the ball in the air a little bit. Kyle Tucker's one of the best players in the game. So doing this top 100 show is fun. And you know one thing that, that you realize, bro, is what, being in the clubhouse with the Yankees, what I realize is MLB Network is on 24-7. Oh, they don't watch anything else. Right. So now every time I say stuff, I'm like, oh, it's on in the, it's oh. on in the clubhouse. I got to watch what I say. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's why they put uh, – you know that's why Intentional Talk is on – the time it was on when it first started was because we wanted something fun to show the guys when they were all sitting in the locker room before the game instead of you know having mad dog out there grilling somebody right oh, yeah, it's been, yeah the mad dog stuff those guys hate man like as far <laughs> as like they mad dog grill everybody they love malar like in dempster just massaging everybody telling everybody how great they yeah. are you know oh mad dog <laughs> hates everybody man with a big <laughs> smile on his face he hates everybody <laughs> The other day, he destroyed that uh, the guy from NFL Network who was throwing football. Oh, Orlovsky? Yeah, he destroyed the Orlovsky. It's like, I can do that. I can throw those footballs. I can do Dude. exactly what he did. Dude, Maybe, Orlovsky was, well, a, was, a, was a starting quarterback <laughs> in the NFL. Like, I, know. You know, me? I know. I know. Russo can't even dribble right. Can't even dribble his left hand. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, wow, we just that was shrapnel. We just gave Bruce some shrapnel. Like, no <laughs> hey, he deserves a little. He deserves a little. He does. Great yeah. guy, though. Nice. All right, bro, have fun. Have fun. All right. uh, the network side. All right, kids. Over there. Yeah. All right, man. I'll tell the boys you said hello and uh, have a great rest of the day, brother. Everyone out there, thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, brother. Uh,